Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. And, well, since there's only two more buildings left to explore, we're going to go up to... No, we already did the library. Just for some reason, I ended up starting uh, a couple videos back in pretty much the same spot. So yeah, now that we've uh, done all our business in the library, got a couple of meanwhile, flashback, other perspective uh, scenes there, the only thing we can do is attempt to leave, which of course results in a scene because we're still missing something. Ah, there's one of them now. Not really. We found out some very useful information, but we didn't really learn what Lloyd was up to or where he is. Well, how cool is that? Albert, ever the diplomat. Um, that's a very strange statement to make. Who's that? I have no idea who you are. Just some random person in town. He doesn't even, or she, doesn't even get a name. Yay. Whatever. Huh? What are the Sacred Sisters for? Okay. Apparently Albert has something to uh, talk about. Though the way he said it just kind of creeped up behind her and whispered to her. It sounds a little creepy. Or appears a little creepy. Either way. Yeah, Albert, of course, knows exactly who these people are because he probably would have had to, being the king of Sergio. And, yeah. We are... He's no longer really known as a king throughout the world past Disc 2. He's known as one of the heroes. Which I guess is a good thing. At least we don't have the same issue that we had pretty much in every town. Well, it didn't last that long in Final Fantasy IX, but we had to hide uh, Garnet's identity for quite a while in that game, too. Pretty much all of Disc 1 and part of Disc 2, I believe. And I think that's my phone ringing, so give me one second. Uh, sorry about that, you guys. Little interruption, and we're back. And anyway. Dart uh, finally realizes who he's talking Well, he doesn't finally realize. He finally brings up that he knows who he's talking to. Survivors of Neat. Huh. Yeah, are there any more survivors? No? Anything? Sound of Terror. Makes me think of Diablo 2. Not Diablo 3. Diablo 2. We don't even get the moniker the Lord of Terror in Diablo 3, which is kind of unfortunate, but eh, oh well. Somebody survive the tragedy. Continuing my journey will someday lead to the... Not really. The Black Monster said he was going to kill everybody didn't kill everybody, missed two people, and how does that make it more likely that you're going to run into him again? Of course Sean is with us, why not? Oh, busted. Just happened to be there. What about the health of Mr. Dart? Unusualness? No, he, she just said that uh, you went through a change, didn't she? Strong powers. Beyond humans. Well, yeah, pretty much. One power in turmoil. Influence over you. So, kind of a strange line to throw in there. Hmm. Yeah, that pretty much does confuse me more. Thanks a lot. Dart, what's going on? Hmm, this is... The entity that has influence over you now. War is... Okay, going by itself, I can't stop it, though. Eh. This is basically what uh, Rose told us earlier about uh, insanity. 
I'm not sure if it's being repeated or if someone else is supposed to be saying it here, but anyway, this one you actually have to press a button. Oh no, you don't have to press a button for. It just takes so long that I think always think you have to press the button. Well, more videos. That's cool. Ah, uh, what was that? It's a big bird something like that. What else could be in the air that's just so massive? Holy crap, it's a dragon. Um. Holy crap. Whoa. That's a big dragon. That's the one we saw before. Whoa. Now, other than the fact that those wings look far too small to support such a massive beast, that was awesome. Uh-huh. Hey, buddies. Hey, look at that. The ball of energy herself. Though apparently she's out of breath. Seven diabolical eyes. Yeah, that's what... If you had stopped the video to count the eyes, you would have been able to count seven in that scene, I believe. Seven wings. Maybe that's how he's able to keep afloat, but they all seem rather small. The Divine Dragon. All gone wings rests in the ground. Bring terror to the world. What is with all of these things? You know, the black monster, this dragon, everyone wants to destroy the world. There's no real reason for it either. Huh. Well, we already kind of knew we were facing dragons. We've faced a couple before. What are we? We are the Dragoons. Of course, why not? Every other, you know, legend has come true so far. Why did we come here? Pursuing a man. We're not here to save you guys from this big massive dragon, but we'll do it anyway, because why not? What did he do? Again, my French is horrible. <laughs> anyway, now that we've had this conversation and reunited our party, and watched that really cool video, uh, we now have free reign. I'll just go with the party I had in beforehand. Yeah, so now we can uh, go talk to the Queen. Yeah, everyone pretty much says pretty much the same thing. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is I noticed that I don't think I talked about it last time when we were in... Uh... Yeah, everyone says pretty much the same thing. They're all boring. First, hidden treasure. <laughs> I almost always end up walking past it. I know there are two treasures in this area, and I always walk past that and have to come back for it because I never see it. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I think I forgot to mention it before. I meant to include a couple of instances where um, Meru was kind of teased at be possibly being a wingly, or at least references the fact that she might be. Uh, the big one that comes to mind is during our first encounter with Lennis. She looked at Meru, and Meru had a you know an ellipses line where she didn't say anything, but there was kind of the acknowledgement between the two that they both knew that each other was a wingly at that point. Um, yeah, so that that's the big one. Yeah. Again, everyone says pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to talk to everybody. There's some stuff up here. 
nothing particularly important. One interesting thing, fireplace, no stardust. There are, this is actually a weird thing, there are no stardust at all in this town. This is the first town in a long time that we haven't had access to Stardust since we get there. We got 37, but uh, we'll, we'll get the rest of them. Don't you worry. Um, We'll go in that room later. There's no one in there particularly interesting. Might as well just head right up the spire to the throne room. Nothing can stand against you. Oh, apparently. First Sacred Sister Miranda. Huh. Bigger than a cloud and faster than our horses. It's impossible for such a creature to exist, so you're assuming that you can beat it. I guess he was sitting in the castle in a room without any windows when the uh, dragon just flew over and basically annihilated everything that, you know, well, he didn't annihilate everything, but it was only a flyby, and he still caused a crap ton of damage. Where does your confidence come from? So yeah, just absolute denial, because nothing stronger than us, isn't it? I have to believe it, otherwise we're screwed. Whoa! Based on assumptions. Well, I guess that's true, but you don't have to be, you know, so evil about it. You don't have to, you know, attack your own knights. Huh. Someone's aggressive. <laughs> you get so mad you go punch a wall after one meeting with the captain of the guards. Ah, the queen was standing right there, the, or, well, sitting there the whole time. Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Doesn't understand the situation. Well, yeah. Who are these people? From the intruder. Save. Well, yeah. Might attack a strike. Well, that would not be good. Fine dragon. Cranky. Not exactly the word I would use to describe it. Monster sealed in the mountain of the mortal dragon. Sealed in there by the ancient winglies. So why is he coming after us? You'd think that after being sealed by Winglies, he would go after Winglies and not humans, who at one point he was on the side of. Unless, you know, the dragons were controlled by the druids kind of against their will. Though, I don't think that's ever talked about, really. Um, I think it's always just kind of assumed that, you know, they're in it together and that's all there is to it. Yeah, we're not humans. <laughs> what confidence. She just sounds so snide every time she speaks. Nobody but us who can stand up to him. You know, that might be cocky, but in this case, it's probably true. Any falsehood in their heart. You mean hearts, as in plural? Of course, why not? We have so many other things to do. We have to meet them. <laughs> Rose is so nonchalant about that. Just awesome. <laughs> A favor. One thing we need in order to cross swords with the Divine Dragon. Wingley's made two weapons in ancient times to fight against dragons. One is a sword, the Dragon Buster, and unfortunately, we don't have that. Ah, Meru, you're kind of revealing a little bit too much there. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oops, I didn't say anything. Yes, that is the sword. Of course not. 
Therefore, we have no choice but to count on the other weapon. And what could that be? The Dragon Block Staff. Magic Staff to block the power of dragons. And because it's a magic staff, I don't even need any explanation about how this would physically work. It's magic. Good enough. I'm not being sarcastic or anything with that. I'm, I'm serious, you know. I, I don't really need a mechanism of how it stops dragon powers and no one else. It's magic. It was created by the Winglies. One of us knew about it, Meru. Uh-oh. What are you talking about? Ah, <laughs> uh, Meru, you're kind of in trouble. <laughs> you're a little busted here. Okay, okay. She's not very good at keeping secrets. Look at her. She's just flipping out. <laughs> the Forest of Wingleys. Where the heck is that? Northern part of the Evergreen Forest. So, yeah. Back to the Barrens, pretty much. Wingleys still live. Uh-huh. We've already seen one. Well, technically, they've seen two. They just don't know one of them is yet. <laughs> so, yeah, if you remember back in Fernie, they were talking about the uh, fairies in the Evergreen Forest. That's probably where the children's you know, fairy tale came from fact that there have been winglies living in that forest for a long time. Someone probably caught sight of them one day and apparently Miranda is forcing her way to come along with us in order to get the dragon block staff. Why are you coming? So basically she doesn't trust us. That's great. Please save this country. Sure, why not? No time for procrastination. Yeah, you're really commanding considering you just got into this group. Shauna? What's, uh, what's going on there, Shauna? Shauna? You're, uh, falling behind there. Of course not, because we just saw that she got distracted. Huh. No time to waste. Yeah, she's, uh, really bossy. <laughs> anyway, let's just head back up there. She's basically still in the throne room, or at least a, a room off shooting from there. You could try and go and explore the rest of it. I think people say little bits about that. We haven't seen her. There's no way she can be upstairs. Well, she didn't come downstairs, so obviously she's still up there. She stopped. She never left the room. Let's talk to you. She ran off to the chamber of the signet without saying a word. Which, when you just walk in here, you can't really see because it's right in the top corner. There's the little icon. Yeah, kind of hard to see that it's there. But, oh well, we found it. Whoa, what is this? This is some weird, creepy music. Shauna, what's going on there? She looks like she's kneeling down. Are you praying? Where are you? What? Shauna? What happened to you? That took me. What do you mean it took you? What is this place anyway? Used to be a fort for Wingleys. Now, that would actually explain why the Divine Dragon, who's been sealed for so long, chose to attack the castle. Because, you know, it used to be a fort for the Winglies. That actually makes sense. That's a good uh, little point to have in there. A chamber for a ceremony to seal something. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> So yeah, this is the Room of the Signet. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so at least that makes sense of why he's attacking the humans, because he doesn't know better, and even if he did, I don't think he would care. He wants to destroy this building so that he can't be sealed again. 
Hmm? It was different. I woke up and I was here. I feel hot. Um, what's going on here? It's gone? What's gone? Shauna, did you just... Lose your Dragoon Stone? What? Um... This is kind of abrupt, isn't it? And Shauna is uh, exhausted now, apparently. What is this? Don't... Are you stupid? Have you not been paying attention? We just explained that to you. Eh, whatever. Hmm, apparently. Even Kongle's here to check on her. How sweet. After all the effort that she spent convincing Dart to allow her to travel with him throughout all of Disc 1 and most of Disc 2, now she says she can't go on. She was convinced and willing to go on even without the Dragoon Stone before. So, I guess this is somewhat related to that incident. Nice. So yeah, we'll, we'll take out uh, the Divine Dragon, and then we'll come back. <laughs> well, that's nice. Custom to waiting doesn't mean you enjoy it. <laughs> it just means you tolerate it. And everyone uh, files out, I guess. Randa? The rest. Well, that's vague and unconclusive. What do you know? I'm assuming that refers to, you know, taking over her place as the White Silver Dragoon, because she is now a party member. She has the same equipment, the same stats, and pretty much everything the same as Shauna did, just like Albert did with uh, Lavitz earlier in the game. But yeah, so we've lost Shauna at this point, and she's been replaced. Now, here's the point in the game where I say, I hate you. I hate you. I hate Miranda's character. I am not going to use her that much. I'm still going to get her up to pretty much the same spot. Uh, you know, I would have if Shauna had stuck around the entire time, but I won't be doing much else um, with her. You know, I'll still use her, but I'm just going to get her to her max Dragoon level and then have her stick around for a couple boss fights here and there. But for the most part, I won't be using her a lot, really, because I'm just not a fan of her character. Uh, I won't, it's not like I'm going to completely avoid it, uh, but it's just kind of the way the game works out. Anyway, but uh, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. In between now and uh, next time, I will purchase uh, a couple extra pairs of Star Stardust Boots for uh, Rose and Meru, and then we'll get ready to go to the uh, Wingly Forest, I guess. I think that's where we're going to go look for the Dragon Block staff, and then we can move on to the Divine Dragon himself. Anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.